Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello and welcome to the session on data frames using PySpark. Right? So in this session, we would like to understand the when conditions. We would implement a single when condition as well as multiple when conditions in order to run that. Okay. So to begin with, I import all my necessary PySpark um, uh, packages. I import the find Spark. I import the PySpark. And I created a Spark session out of it. Okay. Now we need to understand that we need to create a SQL context object. Okay. Whenever we are working with a data frame using PySpark, we need to create a SQL context object. In this case, I have created the object and saved it as SQL underscore C. All right. Now let's work on the data frame. Okay. So I created a data frame called Movie Ratings, and I have named it as Beer. Let me see what is the kind of data I have in it. First, I'll see the shape of it. I will do a DF count, okay, which will give me the number of rows. And I'll do a len of DF columns, which will give me the number of columns. This shows it has 40,000 rows and four columns in the data frame. Okay. Let me try to get a look and feel of the data. Okay, So this is about um, the ratings for, for certain movies. Okay. So the first column gives me the user ID. Who has given the rating the next column is about the movies for which he has rated the rating he has provided and the date on which he has provided all right this looks like a simple data let's move on all right so now i do a df dot select with rating dot distinct dot show this gives me all the unique kind ratings i have in my data set let's try to run that and see what are the unique ratings i have okay here we go so it all ranges between one to five and i have some ratings in decimals as well all right okay so now let's try to begin with the when conditions right so we need to understand here that in order to work with when condition i need to import the call and the when from the PySpark functions all right so i do that so i import the call and the when from the PySpark functions and this would be my first line of code using when Right. Let me try to understand what exactly we're doing here. I do a df.select. Right. So I pass the first parameter as called star, which this is the number of columns or the list of columns which you would like to extract after you run this. So I've given it as star, so this would extract all the columns. All right. So the next one is about the when condition. I provide the condition as when call rating is equal to two. I just give some kind of a condition. This can be anything you as you want. Okay. And the next one is about the column which it will the data which it will fetch in the end in the last column right so i i want the data of rating in the last column let's see what it prints i do a show of it let's see what it prints right so this shows me uh because i selected call start it selected all the columns from the data frame right and it filtered out all the rate all the call records rating is equal to three okay so this was the column which has the rating equal to three all right so now it created another column right where it fetched the value of the rating which matched the condition and it extracted null where it doesn't did not match the condition right that was about the when condition let's try to make it a little more complex okay in the next one i would just like to create an alias of it i don't like this name this doesn't sound like a meaningful name i created an alias of it okay. now i run this code okay this gives me a meaningful name to it all right so now let's move on okay in this case i i am extracting exactly the same condition except that instead of exa extracting the rating i am extracting the movie id so here instead of 3 i should see the movie id 594 let's see how it goes right this is the only change i have made right and i could see that i'm i could see the movie ids instead of ratings in this right so in the next one line of code what i am trying to do over here is I'm trying to extract the user ID. Instead of all the columns, I would like to extract only the user ID. If I run this, I don't see all of the columns. I see only the columns which I have selected over here. That is the user ID. Okay. Now let's make things, let things slightly more complex. Okay. So over here, I have given multiple conditions. So I want to extract the rating where is equal to three. Along with that, I also want to extract the rating which is four as well. Okay. So if you see this, this is the line of code, which is the only, which makes the only difference. All right. Now I see all the threes and fours have been extracted successfully. Where it doesn't match, it gives me a null. All right. 
Now, one more thing that I would like to notice over here is I don't want these nulls. Instead, I want some meaningful name here. Okay. So to do that, the next line of code, what the what I've added is I've added dot otherwise. Okay. So wherever it matches the results, it just prints as it is, as per the instructions provided. And where it does not match, it just writes it as zero. All right. So that's the purpose of otherwise. Let's try to run this and see what's the output of it. Okay. So I could see here wherever it matches, it just gives me the movie ID because I have movie ID over here. Okay. And wherever it doesn't match, it just gives me the um, zero over here. Okay. If you notice here, I have movie ID over here and rating over here. That's the reason it prints the movie IDs and the ratings. All right. I just wanted to give more of variety over here. Right. In the next line of code, I'm just trying to use do the, exactly the same thing, but in a different way, using the Spark SQL out of it. Okay. So I create a temporary view of it. Okay. I name it as table one. All right. And I just passed a normal SQL command to it. This looks like a normal SQL command as we use in RDBMS. Okay. I do a SQLC dot SQL. SQLC is nothing but my SQL context object, which I had created in the beginning. All right. And I pass it, pass the SQL command to it and with the case statement and I do a show. So it gives me a nice look and feel of a SQL. If you're comfortable in SQL, this should be the line of code for you. All right. So that was about when conditions, multiple when conditions and how to use them and make most out of it. All right. Thank you.